Hey, welcome to the Digital Noir Bar. Today we're gonna to be learning how to make a Negroni. So I reckon the Negroni is probably my favorite cocktail, although I probably say that for everything. Um, it's an Italian aperitif. Um, really great to have before dinner, kind of gets your appetite going. Simple to make, just three ingredients. Um, so it's made up of gin, vermouth, and then Campari. Um, there's a whole bunch of different thought processes on, on how you should make it. Generally, the historical version is equal parts Campari, vermouth, and gin. Um, a lot of more modern bartenders are going more gin, especially with some of the kind of funky gins they've got going around these days. Personally, I still like um, equal parts. Um, I really like the Campari to come through with that bit of orange flavor. So you can play around with the Negroni using different gins to get different effects. Um, today I'm using an Australian one um, from the Hunter Valley, Jailhouse Gin. It's got some like Szechuan pepper and some other crazy sort of spices in there. Um, you can kind of notice the difference between something like this and your sort of, I suppose, bottom shelf, Bombay Sapphire, something like that. Um, it's just, it's more complex and has a bit more uh, flavor to it, I suppose. Less of that alcohol hit. Um, different vermouths, there's a whole crazy range of vermouths out there these days. There's vermouth bars. Um, I really like Noeli Pratt. Um, you can use Zanzano, basically whatever you can get your hands on. It does make a difference, but. So what we're doing is just chucking it into a mixing glass with some ice. So equal parts Campari, 30 mils each. Like I said, you can go a little bit heavier on the gin if you want. And then we're just gonna stir that. We're just cooling this down. So Campari is a bitter orange flavor. Um, some people don't like it, I really love it. Um, then we're just gonna go in an old fashioned glass only sort of small tumbler, filter that out over some rocks. And to go with the bitter orange flavor, generally a Negroni is served with either a slice of orange or some orange peel. You can use a lighter to kind of draw out some of the essential oils in the orange peel. Just adds a bit more flavor. Really great drink, beautiful to look at, very savory. And there you have the Negroni.